I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. Enjoy this video where I talk about current ascension symptoms and what my hope is is that listening to the video and watching it, you will take away some of your confusion, your uncertainty, and mostly take away the fear out of your twin flame journey. Please watch the video. My work is intended to help you avoid confusion because these ascension symptoms, they will be going on into April of this year. So enjoy the video. In this video, I want to talk to you about your liver is the new seat of the 5D connections. So it may seem as though this is the new seat of your soul. People are out there saying seat of your soul, which the ancients believed that the seat of the soul was originally in the womb or the root area because that's where babies were conceived. However, there have been several upward surges of energies throughout 2023s portals of energy to shift you and they're shifting everybody this is a general shift for everybody however you must be responsible for yourself and engage this for your new connections and you do it through your new connection this is where people fail they do not understand and it can feel like a roller coaster ride instead of white knuckling and hanging on for dear life i want you to do be and use your brand new light body connections and engage your new light body because the old one is insufficient. In fact, it was for you as an individual. That's why so many things seem to go upside down. You're going through alignments and those alignments are specifically to bring you to a level of love is for you. So take some time to really notice, do you have these symptoms? So in your upper body, not at the level of the liver, but starting in your upper body, there's a direction that these things go. In order to transmute, it's up and out. It is not down. And that's one of the key differences that you may see out there. My work incorporates the proper methods, so check these symptoms out. Do you have allergy symptoms, such as a stuffy nose, a sniffly nose, a drippy nose? Do you have runny eyes? Are your eyes feeling a little bit puffy, swollen? Do the whites of your eyes seem a little bit dull? You might think that part of this is, you know, leftover stuff from the new year or, you know, the holidays, but it is actually not. So it can feel like slightly like a cold, but it is not. This is uh, one of the subsets of ascension symptoms that you may experience. Which brings me to al allergic reactions. Do you feel like you're allergic to people? Do you have itchies on your skin? Do you have mild uh, skin irritations like a rash? Now, some can be attributable to the dryness in the winter, but if it seems very spontaneous, this too can be an allergic symptom. So are you feeling slightly allergic all of a sudden and you're slightly allergic to various foods or people, especially people? Are you noticing that these are certain people? Could it be family members? Could it be work people, people at your workplace? Could it be where your blood relatives are one way and perfect strangers are another way with you? Is that noticeable? A really big symptom is headache. So do you feel a top of the head pressure that feels like it's pushing you down or pressing down or pressing down directly on the top of your head and yet you can feel the inside of your skull that that's where the pain is? This is a part of the crown chakra that you need to clear and connect and we do that work, but you're not finished there. This area must connect again to your solar plexus and the major organs there. So you have major vital organs that sometimes Sometimes feel like they're going through something and then they need to be connected again, rebooted, things like this. The next thing, do you feel shoulder and neck aches? Do you feel like there's tension and pressure on the back of your shoulders, the back of your neck, uh, the upper body, but on the back and maybe slightly on the front near the collarbones and the chest? Do you feel an achy, dull pain? Do you also have an emotional feeling where you feel kind of fed up and exasperated? That can go with this. Like there's just not any more things that you can bear the burden of, or you just feel like you can't bear up under certain things and yet you are you're putting one foot but you wish this achy pain would go away the breasts 
This can be in men and women. The tissues of the body in the chest and the upper areas, they can feel achy and tender. They can feel like they're holding a little bit of water, like be a little puffy, a little slightly swollen, uh, tender, swollen. The nipples hurt. This can be on men and women. You can feel like your nipples are highly sensitive or hurt. Uh, your sides of your breast or the pectoral muscles hurt and feel dull and achy. This is usually on the feminine side, which is the left side. Now we're going to bring this to the liver. The liver is not the seat of your soul. It is a base like a foundation. It's like becoming the base foundation of your brand new house, the foundation of your new life and your new life with your twin. So in the upper body, it helps you to regulate emotion, especially with the world or how some people feel against the world. Do you feel like you're against the world sometimes? Yes, you can get triggered for sure. But sometimes this is happening from the inside outward. The outside triggers aren't doing it. And there's a reason for it. It's ascension. It's particularly twin flame ascension. So in the upper body, not only is it regulating the emotion, but all previous emotional conflicts, arguments, resentments, feelings, these are like the trash that your body wants to take out. You can feel things like irritation with people, uh, short-tempered, you're annoyed with them. And these can be people you care about. You're irritable. You have some regrets or you regret something really big. You feel flat, listless feeling. You feel a sense of resignation. Now, men will go through that a lot. A sense of resignation like, well, it's a new year. Nothing changed. It's the same old stuff. I thought it would be different. You can feel that sense of resignation. You can feel a vague sense of loss, like somehow you lost the thread. You lost your way. You lost where you are going. And it's a feeling. It's not a head thing. It's not your your head. You can feel a vague sense of disorientation, like losing your way. You can feel pessimism. Now, this is not a conclusive list. You can feel a lot more in there, like um, feeling like you're worried about something or people are worried about you. Your sleep time, too. Your sleep time has something to do with this. And it's all tied together because you are a magnificent multidimensional being, but unless you get through these symptoms the proper way, open your channels, uh, it sometimes continues for a very lengthy time. So restless sleep, these are also a heart and crown connection. This is a reconnection issue for heart, crown, and base. Errat you can have erratic and emotional dream times. You can feel like you're half awake, half asleep. It's very restless. You can feel like you're, you're waking up kind of irritable sleep disruptions so if you have not addressed your addictions your ascension symptoms your breakups uh, with work your divorces that karma will not be sustainable so if you're in the wrong place and it's the wrong person or what i mean with this by it not being sustainable is it drains you the first step is working with your light body so all of these symptoms can start to alleviate you can feel energized refreshed recharged and able to address the things properly there is a way to do this, and it is through my modality. So check us out. I'm Patricia. Thanks so much for watching, and take the fear and replace it with love. Make the space that you need to, and get your base foundation going. Thanks. Please look at the description below for the proper links, and we are here to help. We're here to help you with your journey for your next steps, because it's really time to level up. This is the time that we've planned for. Bye now.